Hey everybody, it's Cora. Thanks for dropping in. This video is going to be what's in my first aid kit for baby and or toddler. So let's go ahead and take a closer look. If you've seen any of my other videos, you have seen this pouch in my diaper bags. And this is my custom made first aid kit. Um, case that I got done from the Happy Hippos. Thanks, Corinne, for making this case for me. And I basically put this in my diaper bags. It's become an essential piece for my diaper bags. Sorry that it's a bit dirty. Haven't washed it or anything, but I wanted to go ahead and do a video on it because this I'm actually very proud of this first aid kit. A little bit of a background of me. I've been registered nurse for 14 years now. I've worked in various departments, including um, stepped on ICU, med surge, um, tele neuro, urgent care, and emergency department. So the items that I have here in my first aid kit have been pretty well thought out um, for me personally. Um, I am a mother of one, I have another one on the way. And so a lot of the first aid kits I've noticed have been geared towards more um, older kids and adults and I decided to go ahead and just make my own specific for um, my baby who was obviously younger at the time when I got this when I put this together so now she is a toddler she's two years old now and I have a I do have a baby on the way so this is definitely something that I will be carrying with me for a long time and just as a comparison I have a large set piece here to kind of gauge how big this first aid kit is. It is pretty wide because I do have this pretty stuffed up. And I also have a small set piece here as well to kind of gauge what it is. And sometimes, obviously, if I bring a smaller diaper bag, I would put a few of the items that I have in here into a small set piece um, to carry around, but this is generally what I would carry. Heads up, I am also an overpacker. That's why my first aid kit is so thick. So looking inside, there are three compartments in there. So the middle compartment, I have here a small Vaseline, and this one's a cocoa butter lip therapy. It's a 0.25 ounce bottle because my daughter does get her, her lips get dry. I do have a 5 ml syringe for her medication. Um, I do have a, a few medications in here and the tip part does fit inside those bottles and I do weight base dosages for her medication. Along with here, I do have a small scissor. I have um, small tweezers. And then I also have some nail clippers. And these all came in a set with other things and I thought it would be just a good thing to just have it in there since I do cut my daughter's nails when we're in the car and while she's sleeping. On this side here, I do have um, a little electrolyte powder um, from Pedialyte. I do have a Neosporin and this is a point five ounce half an ounce of neosporin burn relief and then i do have a 0.18 ounce bottle of Orgel non-medicated cooling gel and this has been a lifesaver for me when my daughter was teething as you can tell i do like to find little small things that would fit in this first aid kit also in here i do have a couple alcohol pads i do have band-aids in here i know one of the essential pieces of a first aid kit are band-aids i do have multiple sizes here and this is from i believe welly flex fabric so i have various sizes on here and then i do have this off botanical towelette plant-based repellent it was easy to put in there and it doesn't take up too much space and then I do have some blister band-aids, which have helped us, um, the parents out, walking around. Then I do have a two by two gauze sponge, a hydrogel dressing, um, in case she was to have like um, a burn. Not just for her, obviously, for 
her parents as well, my, me and my husband. And then I do have a cooling pad. I got these bands, which are supposed to be like anti-nausea bands. I have actually have not used this on her at all. Um, but, it's, but I do have them there because I did purchase it. So I thought I'd go ahead and place them in there. But I haven't had to use them. Then I have these Benadryl. This one's uh, 12.5 milligrams per 5 ml. And again, I do do weight base on her for her medications in case she does need these. I just put two just in case that she was to be exposed to certain foods that I'm not aware that she was allergic to. Um, I do have this on hand. This is just a saline solution that I have there. Then this is a thermometer. I searched far and wide on Amazon for a small thermometer that would fit in here and it fits perfectly in there. And this one um, can do as a temporal read and it also can do readings through the ear, which has been really useful been pretty accurate for me so far. And then I do have a small stick of Aveeno Baby sunscreen. And then these are her, um, I do have these bottles of Tylenol and Motrin. And I like to keep these up to date. So I had to switch them, the ones that I had that was in here earlier that were open because they've expired. And these are one ounce bottles, 30 ml bottles. And they have been a lifesaver for me while we've been out, especially when she was um, an infant. I would bust these open if she had a fever or whatnot going on. And again, I do weight base for these medications. I don't actually follow the, the instructions here. And that's basically it for this small first aid kit. I do have a larger first aid kit that Corinne has made for me also from the Happy Hippos and it's much, much larger in comparison. Um, I do want to switch over to this one because there are some more items that I would like to have and that's to include, I did get this hydrocortisone um, easy relief applicator with healing aloe that I wanted to keep in just in case my daughter does have a history of eczema. I like to have that in there and then there is also i got this small little pulse ox for for toddlers and this is a much smaller one in comparison to the larger one that i have for adults so here is in comparison to the adult one that i bought off amazon and this is the pediatric one that i found on amazon as well and i thought that was so cute i definitely <laughs> I had to buy a new one because my daughter broke the other one I originally have and I was like, okay, let me buy one specifically for her and since I have another one on the way, this fits perfectly on her finger. There you go. In comparison to those two together, it's significantly smaller. I was really surprised of how and then they actually have been pretty accurate so far. So thank you for watching my video. I hope this video was helpful and I'll see you all in my next one. Bye!